going to jump right into it. This is how to get Power World on a Mac. Now, if you haven't been living under a rock, I know you heard about this game. It is very fun. And we're going to start by getting this app called Whiskey. Whiskey is like wine, if you've ever heard of wine. It allows you to... And that's the website, by the way, getwhiskey.app. It allows you to run Windows software inside of Mac so you don't have to install a virtual machine. We're not doing any of that. We're also not doing this streaming or anything, NVIDIA, whatever. We're just going to play it natively from our Mac. So download the latest release. Going to open that. And there is Whiskey. So we're just going to drag this to the applications. And we're going to run it. If I can find it, whiskey. And let's just check automatically. Okay, so now we have to create our first bottle in whiskey. And I just named this one Power World, but I should name it Steam. I'll just name it Steam. So now what we do is we go ahead and download Steam. So I'm going to go to steampower.com and install steam and we're going to get the windows version because it's going to automatically try to get you the mac version which has nothing <laughs> no games i swear so we got steam right there so we're going to go to whiskey then we're going to run and we're going to find steam steam setup so we're going to run that it's going to open it in this ugly oh that looks so windows xp but we're just going to go through this, leave everything default, and it's completed. So we're going to run Steam. It's going to check for updates and download those said updates. Okay, so here is Steam. I'm gonna sign in. Don't laugh at my username. Okay. Oh yeah, if, it, if you hear a dog in the background, it's my, my roommate's dog, oh man. He whines all day. So, we have Steam. So now my library, I've already purchased this game, so. It is right here. So what we're going to do, we're going to download Power World through Steam, just like you would on a Windows computer. And make sure you have the required amount of space. I just barely have it. <laughs> so yeah, I don't want to create any shortcuts, though. I don't know what that's going to do. So Now, I'm not going to make you guys sit through this process. So I'm just going to let it download and, uh, and I'll come back. Okay, so the game has downloaded, but you see it's stuck at 99% down here. Don't worry. This has happened to me before. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to close Steam and then we're going to open it back up because I believe it has stalled, but it says 100% over here. So uh, let's just uh, go up here and force quit Steam. Okay, so we're going to open Steam back up again. So just double click this here. And let me minimize this, get this out the way. Close that. Okay, as you can see, it's verified now. It's back working again. Okay, now we are ready to play. So let's play it and see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't lag too uncon uh, uncontrollably. <laughs> okay, it's going to come up with this uh, warning. Just ignore that. Okay, so now we're in the game. So, just gonna start a game.
Oh, that's not good. Okay, there we go. Okay. It's going to lag a bit at first, but as your computer gets used to it, it's going to catch up. <laughs> See, it's starting to catch up now. <clears throat> Come on, come on, there we go. So, yep. So yeah, I'll put my specs in the, in the corner. So you, so you guys can see what kind of computer I have. If you have a base like M1 MacBook Air, I'm not sure this game will run this smoothly. But uh, why not try, right? And just to prove to you that this is running on my Mac, I'm going to go to Options, Graphics. I'm going to put it in Window Mode. I might hurt myself. Oh. Can I swim? Um, at this point, I don't know if a controller works with this game, but uh, I'll experiment with it. And if I figure something out, I'll definitely make another video. But thank you for watching.